Good morning my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to see a hydraulic calculation for the high rise building from the fire pump to the last sprinkler including all the fittings and uh, alarm check wall, zone control wall assembly. Uh, so all the walls also we will see and as per, as per NFEA, some fittings we don't need to consider in the hydraulic calculation. That one also I will explain. So let's start the video. So in this high rise building, it's a mixed use high rise building like you see here. In the ground floor and first floor, we have a automobile showroom as I mentioned here and above that we have uh, office buildings. So office buildings uh, is like a, uh, we have the storage space also for the office building material and with the height of 7 feet okay is, uh, in uh, uh, some floors. So here as per uh, NFA 13 we have to identify in which, ordinary, uh, which, which hazard we have this building. So if you see my earlier definition I have mentioned ordinary hazard, light hazard like that. So in this case uh, if you see here the stockpile height the stockpile height is don't exceed uh, 12 feet okay so that means it is rnsr 2 okay so we have to see rnsr 1 also so if you see the rnsr 1 in this case it's the stockpile height don't exceed 8 feet so in our case it is 7 feet so we can consider this one is rnsr 1 again if you see here automobile parking lot and showroom so this one also indicate uh, rnsr 1 if you see officers it will be in the light hazard but still we have the uh, automobile showroom and this stockpile height this one so this two again it indicates hundred hazard one more than light hazard so it is hundred hazard one and the total the total area uh, from ground floor to from basement to the last floor is 200 feet into 100 feet is the area of each floor and the type of system i'm going to use is a wet system wet sprinkler system and the material for this uh, firefighting is ASTM A53 grade B schedule 40 above ground material okay so the height is total 43 meter from the pump uh, to 13th floor and the pump is uh, the pump is located in the basement Okay, basement car parking, we have the mechanical rooms are there like a pump room, water supply pump room, irrigation pump room. So there we have the firefighting pump room also. So there the firefighting pumps are located and total arrangement is B plus G plus statin. So like you see here, the pump is located in the basement here and the alarm check wall and the total height is 43 meter uh, till the last floor and what are the arrangement you see here, this belongs to the uh, last floor. Okay, the last floor of the high rise building and I have given the node number for each and every uh, sprinklers and I will explain you how to give the node number and how to perform the calculation. So for the RDSR group 1 from the density area curve you know that we need to consider 0 0.15 GPM per feet square for 1500 uh, feet square hydraulic area otherwise uh, zero, the low level is 0 0.12 GPM per feet square or uh, 3000 feet square as a hydraulic area. So I consider 0 0.15 GPM per feet square and 1500 hydraulic area then I apply that one in the equation length is equal to 1.2 root of hydraulic area hydraulic area is 1500 so here the answer is length is equal to 46.5 feet so this will be the length in the hydraulic area so so we have the arrangement like this so there are um, around you can see three six eight sprinklers in each row so like this we have eight sprinklers in each row and in our case i need 46.5 feet as a length so i will consider 46.5 feet uh, where it comes till there i will stop then uh, the each sprinkler is uh, spaced a bit like 3 meter uh, and here also 3.6 meter. So here the area of the sprinkler coverage is equal to L into S. So L means the length is between the branch line and S is along the branch line. So I will show you one uh, example here. If you see this one, if you see this point, uh, here I have mentioned L and S. So here one important point is the first you can see the S. So yes, between is uh, between the branch line the from sprinkler center to center. Okay, for example, and it's for similar, same like uh, in the L means uh, from this branch line to this branch line. Okay, and suppose in some in your case the upright sprinkler it is slightly moved uh, from the uh, branch line. That means you have to consider the L from the center line uh, center line of the sprinkler to and here the center line of the sprinkler. Okay, we should not consider always from branch to branch line. If the sprinkler is in the same location then okay like this. If the sprinkler is moved like this then you have to consider from the sprinkler okay not from the branch line okay we are we are, uh, we are uh, looking for only the sprinklers sprinklers coverage not the branch line coverage and also you have to measure this distance for example the yes 
you have to measure in this way along the ceiling slope okay so if the if the pipe is located like this in the slope you have to measure the distance in the slope way not like a straight not like a straight from here to here like this okay this is not allowed so in our case this is the l s 10 feet and this is the l 12 feet so area is equal to l into s so 10 into 12 is equal to 120 feet square and the height area is 1500 feet square so 1500 by 112 we need 12 uh, sprinkler if you say exactly it will be 1500 sorry 1500 divided by 120 it will be 12.5 sprinkler okay so we have to round off to 13 sprinkler okay so we need to consider 13 sprinkler in the hydraulic area here now i'll explain how to consider then we'll go for the calculation so we just referred the nfa formula length is equal to 1.2 into root of a so as per that we got the answer of 46.5 feet so that should be the uh, length for the uh, length in the branch line okay so in our case this is uh, 10 feet we consider so we uh, from the wall to the first sprinkler it will be 5 feet okay as per nfa 13 maximum half of the uh, distance so in our case here we are considering this gap as a 5 feet and this is sprinkler 2 sprinkler distance is 10 feet so from here we need to add to get the 46.5 feet for, for example if you see here 10 20 30 40 and if you add this gap it will be more than the 46.5 feet okay so we have to keep 46.5 feet at least so that is the reason i am keeping here half and so here uh, it will be like 10 20 uh, 30 40 45 50 so till here it will be 50 feet and we need we need total 13 sprinkler so it is and the last class and uh, the last uh, chapter i told you that uh, we try we have to try to keep the sprinkler very near to the cross main because near to the cross main this is our cross main line near to cross main means there will be more water flow okay so more water flow means there will be more friction losses okay so we have to consider that point but in our case we cannot go uh, like this okay because uh, we are following we are keeping till the point here this one if you go like this means the hydraulic area will be uh, unnecessary it will increase okay so what we are going to do we will follow the same step it will go down also so we will consider 5 sprinkler 10 sprinkler and here if we go down we cannot consider this uh, 5 sprinkler also no? so we need total 13 sprinkler so uh, 5 from here 5 from here in the second row also and we will consider total 10 sprinkler and in the last 3 sprinkler we will consider like this okay so we have to verify the hydraulic area in this area it's coming to 1500 feet square or not okay so here uh, and second thing total we need 13 sprinkler so i consider like this and in my case uh, the sprinklers are properly spaced so i consider the tatin sprinkler but in your case suppose in pro future project the sprinklers are not properly spaced like uh, because of the building uh, design like this so some sprinkler will be like this so some sprinkler will be like this so the, in this time you don't need to consider the uh, number of sprinklers you have to comply with the total hydraulic area of 1500 feet square okay so in my case it is sprinklers are properly sp uh, spaced so i consider the number of sprinklers and i uh, measure the hydraulic area the finally overall requirement of nfa 13 1500 square, uh, feet square in the hydraulic area must be complied so we are, we are going to start the calculation with this arrangement total tatin sprinkler so before going to calculation you have to uh, consider a few important points uh, in the calculation like i told you so which fitting you need to consider uh, like that that conditions are there so first you see here in this arrangement so in our case from the pump this is the riser pipe and this pi this pipe is called as a cross main this is in the 14th floor or our project okay so now here if you see uh, this is the sprinkler so this is the upright sprinkler we have installed here and below the sprinkler there is there will be a small pipe okay and this is the line is called as the branch line at uh, end of the branch line there will be a, another pipe is called as a riser nipple so we need to see what is the uh, technical name of uh, this pipe and this one this pipe and uh, whether this is uh, this is should be considered in the calculation or not so first of all the the riser nipple means the vertical pipe between the cross main and the branch line okay so that means uh, if you see in this our uh, calculation here our node point so the pipe between the cross main and the branch pipe so this this uh, this pipe is called as a riser nipple and second point is the sprig pipe the sprig pipe means a pipe that rises vertically and supplies to a single sprinkler okay so in the calculation we must consider this sprig pipe okay so just now i showed you the sprig pipe means 
like you see here in this one so the it is supplying a single sprinkler from the branch main so this is called as a strict pipe because i see in some uh, some design calculation uh, the people are not considering this strict pipe so for as per nfa we have to consider this small strict pipe also okay strict pipe means nothing from the branch line we are taking the connection uh, for the sprinkler whether it is operate or fender what and whatever it is so this small pipe also we have to consider in the calculation so the next important arrangement here is the uh, return bend so return bend where we need here first of all if you see in our uh, node point how we prepare the arrangement so this is the this is the cross main from the cross main we have taken the pipe above then we have taken the branch line for example like this we have taken the riser nipple above then it, we have taken the branch line to two sides okay so this height of uh, rising is very important because uh, you know normally the in the fire fighting line uh, we are uh, um, like it will, it will be in the operational for very long time the fire happens okay so uh, there is a chance that there will be dust uh, material will be inside the fire pipe okay so for example in the cross main is like this and you consider the branch line in the same orientation okay instead of taking above you consider the same orientation like this so what will happen if there is a dust particles in the cross main the same will go uh, to the uh, branch line also you know the sprinklers the opening is very very small for example if you consider k5.6 sprinkler the opening is very small so if if the duct is going to uh, uh, and is arresting the sprinkler opening means the in, during the fire condition the water will not come out from the sprinkler so that is the reason we are taking it above and they are making the branch line okay so suppose the second case you want to install the uh, sprinklers directly from the cross main so what you will do is the same step you have to follow you have to take it above you have to make it down then you have to install the upright sprinkler for the pendant sprinkler sorry this is for the pendant sprinkler for the upright sprinkler you will take it above you will install the sprinklers okay so for the pendant sprinkler you have to follow this step is called as a return bend so this return bend is required if you are taking directly from the uh, um, directly from the cross main okay so if you are taking uh, from the branch line mean it is not required because branch line already you are taking above using the riser nipple so again here you don't want to make the return bend in the branch line but if you are taking from the cross main you need to consider the return bend so as I, as I shown here the return bend from the cross main line we have to uh, consider above then it has this uh, this one will go like this this arrangement is called as a arm over and it has to go down this arrangement is called as a drop and this pipe what you see here this pipe for normally for the one spindler we need um, one inch pipe can serve two spindler okay so here what happened uh, but even though like that even the condition is like that this this pipe we cannot take like a half inch okay so we have to consider one inch pipe only we have to take the top to till this point one inch pipe and near to the spindler you see this point it's a reducer so here we need to provide a reducer one inch to half inch and we have to install the spindler here okay so that's an important point so again uh, as i told you if you are taking this uh, arrangement from the cross main you have to consider the return bend if you are taking from the branch pipe you don't need to consider the return bend okay? because already in the branch pipe you are taking above only from the cross main so as per NFA, we have to consider all the fittings like this elbow, the T, everything except one fittings. The one fitting condition I will show you now. So as per NFA here, if you see here this point, the friction loss shall be excluded for the fittings directly connected to a spindler. Okay. So in our case, what is that point directly connected to the spindler? that is the reducer like you see here this point is directly connected to the spindler so this one we can avoid the uh, we can avoid in the friction loss calculation okay for all other fittings this elbow and this elbow this uh, t uh, riser nipple t everything must be considered in the cal hydraulic calculation and one more important point is uh, if you see the zone control wall for example this is your zone control wall for this building serving to this floor and we have on uh, drain connection okay so for the zone control wall so that drain connection also you can exclude like you see here this uh, zone control wall assembly we have the butterfly wall we have the water flow indicator and we we have the tie-in drain connection so if is the tie-in with this main line uh, as per nfa 13 tie-in drain piping can be excluded from the calculation so we can avoid all the tie-in drain piping